Hey everyone, Jim Webster back again with another edition of Shopping Cart Integration, and today I am doing Big Commerce, one of our more popular integrations. We've been integrating with Big Commerce for many, many years. The reason for the new video here today is because we have changed our integration method with uh, Big Commerce, and we're now doing a API style integration using the Big Commerce API. Um, as some of you may or may not know, we used to use a tracking pixel method, which was fine. We could do coupon code commissioning with it. But now that we're using the API integration, it now opens up additional functionality for us to be able to do uh, what we call per product commissioning as well. A lot of you have been asking for per product commissioning. Now you can do it with Big Commerce as well. I'll get into what that is uh, in a bit. First, I want to cover your integration. Um, walk you through how to integrate the two products together. We're going to do some basic testing and then we're going to get into the more advanced stuff like coupon code commissioning and per product commissioning for you. So having said that, let's dive right in. The first thing we want to do is we want to come over to our item affiliate admin center over here and we want to go to the cart integration menu at the top, then sharp shopping cart integration wizard in the drop down menu, find big commerce. And we're going to continue to the next page. Now, we've technically enabled Big Commerce and IDEV Affiliate, but there's a few more steps that we need to do. To get those steps, just look at the instructions right here and you'll find the step-by-step -step guide to completing the integration. Now, by the time you watch this video, these instructions might have changed. Doesn't matter, they'll always be updated for you. So no matter what, just follow the instructions step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna walk through in the video right now um, the steps that we currently have for today. And again, these probably won't change for a long time, but you never know down in the future, as you're watching these, they could be different. And I just don't want you to panic or think that it's, uh, there's anything wrong. There's not, it's just an updated set of instructions that you're likely looking at if it doesn't look like this anyways. Uh, so assuming we're going to follow these four steps here for integrating big commerce, We'll go over to our Big Commerce Admin Center right now. I'm gonna walk you through it right now. So you're gonna come over here to the advanced settings section to the API accounts, and we're gonna create a new API account. So for our name, we're going to use iDev Affiliate. And for our scope, we're going to use orders and order transactions. These are the two that you wanna use here. Just select them as read only and hit the save button. Now. You'll notice you're, we've got a download a, a file that's now been downloaded. Big Commerce provided us with this download file. We want to keep this. Don't disregard this file, and I'm going to show you why. Over here in your IDEV Affiliate Admin Center, we need to use some of these settings here, the ID, the, the token, and the hash that's provided to us by Big Commerce. We need to enter them in here into this form. So we can get the client ID real quick here. So I'm gonna copy the client ID and I will paste it over here in iDev Affiliate. Then we need the access token and I can get that right here as well. Third one down. I'm gonna paste that here. Now it's asking for the store hash. Now if you look at these, uh, the, the note down here, this is found in the, that text file and that's why I was telling you don't disregard that file, you're gonna need it. Um, and it's showing you that the API path is a full URL and it's, it's showing you the piece of the URL that we need. We only need the piece. Do not put the whole URL in here. You're going to copy just a piece of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So let's go ahead and open the file that Big Commerce gave us. And you'll see here we've got the API path. And here's the full URL. The portion of this URL, which is called the hash, we just need that section right there. We don't want the slash, the forward slash here. We don't want this forward slash. We don't want this V3. We literally just want this piece here. So I just double click my mouse in there and I'm going to copy just that section right there. Come back over to our item affiliate settings. We'll put that in as our store hash. All right. So we've got our three pieces of data from the big commerce API system. I'm going to go ahead and hit save settings. Success settings saved, but you'll notice there's also a notice here for you as well. You're not exactly done. There's one tiny little piece that you got to do. You got to hit one more button after this to finish your integration. Be sure to now click the register webhook button below. That's down here. We need to hit this register webhook. You can't edit this URL. You don't need to. We've already pre-populated it for you. It'll look different than this, of course. It's going to look like whatever you, you know, your URL for your affiliate program where you have IDEV affiliate running. So there's nothing to do other than hit the button register webhook. And you'll notice it now says 
registered successfully. So essentially you're just hitting two buttons back to back. You're hitting save settings, then you're coming back down and hitting registered web webhook and you're all set. Now, in theory, you are done at this point. IDev Affiliate is now integrated with BigCommerce. As orders are placed in BigCommerce, BigCommerce is going to report those sales to us. We are then going to in turn write a commission for the referring affiliate. All right, let's get on with testing the commissioning process here. So in order to do this, we need to take some uh, liberties and make some assumptions here. Um, in this case, we're going to assume that I am the customer myself and that I have already clicked on an affiliate's marketing link and I've been taken to your website and I'm about to place an order because after we place that order, we wanna see if the commission comes in for the referring affiliate whose marketing link I clicked on. So um, to see the uh, traffic log, if you wanna see it, you can see when you're doing your own testing, you'll, you'll uh, likely be in your own affiliate account that you create as a test account. You'll click on the affiliate link that's provided to you in the affiliate dashboard. And after you click on that link, you wanna come take a look at this incoming traffic log in your admin center and make sure you see the log here. Now, you may see hundreds of, of logs here, maybe thousands. Eventually, over time, you're going to see a lot here. We only see the one because it's just a quick demo account that we're using for the video. But um, you can see that I have clicked on a link. This is me. So again, taking some assumptions here, I've clicked on an affiliate link and I've now been taken to your big commerce store where I'm about to place an order now and we'll see exactly what happens. So let's get on with it. I'm actually going to place an order here after again, already having clicked the affiliate link. So I'm being tracked to the affiliate and we'll see what happens. Proceed to checkout. I should be logged in, I am. So we're just gonna whiz through real quickly here. Free shipping, cash on delivery, make it quick and easy. Place the order. All right, so we have order number 102. If I come up to my orders section in uh, BigCommerce, you'll see it. Order number 102, here it is. I just placed this order right now. It's for $49. But more importantly, let's see what happened in IDEV Affiliate. If we come over here to the commission section, you'll notice in the pending approvals list, it says zero. It's because I haven't refreshed the page here yet, but we're expecting that to say a one now, and we're expecting to actually see this commission for the order that we just placed for order ID number 102. So let's take a look. There it is. You'll notice it changed to one. And here's the order. Let's go ahead and look at the details and we'll take a look at some uh, a couple of different things here of importance. Number one, we can see the sale amounts, $49. Um, we can see that it came in from BigCommerce and we can see the order number. We can see the date, time, customer's IP address. And um, you know this is the basics of the commission. So uh, primarily tools that you can use to sort of cross-reference this commission to the actual order in BigCommerce. So you know which order this one belongs to when it comes time for your approval process here. Um, as far as the commission uh, itself is concerned uh, in terms of the amount, this affiliate program that I'm using here is set for 10% uh, for 10% commission. Now, of course, obviously you can set your commission rate to be anything you want. We've got plenty of videos and instructions on how to do that. This one's the default 10%. The sale amount was $49. So our commission is $4.90, 10%. So that's it. That's the actual testing process. So when you're testing, you want to uh, place an order in your big commerce store. So, um, you know, whether that's using a check or money order or uh, enabling a test, uh, a test credit card with your credit card processor, however you want to do it, you need to actually do the full complete process. So that's clicking on the affiliate link, getting to your big commerce store and completing the order and then coming over to IDEV affiliate and checking to see if the commission exists over here in the pending approvals list. So that's doing your standard commission uh, testing. All right, let's get on to what we call coupon code commissioning. What is it? Well, essentially what you can do is you can take a coupon code that you have defined in your big commerce store, just like any other coupon code you may already have, probably already have, uh, and you can actually assign it to one of your affiliates. So each time that coupon code is used at the time of checkout, the assigned affiliate will automatically get a commission. That is a fantastic and fun tool for affiliates who want to do things like offline marketing, um, brochures, business cards, word of mouth, that kind of thing. Uh, it's real simple for them to just be able to tell their audience, hey, when you get to this website, go ahead and use this coupon code. They'll give you 10% off your order. They don't have to tell them, click on my affiliate link. They don't have to uh, you know, have them enter in an affiliate code when they get to your website. They don't even have to tell them they are an affiliate, to be honest with you. It's completely transparent between 
everybody at that point. You're just basically, your affiliate's just basically telling them, here's a coupon code, go use it, and that's it. So it's a really neat tool, again, for the offline marketing type stuff. So let's show you how it works. First thing we wanna do is take a look at our coupons here in uh, BigCommerce. And you may already have some coupons. If not, you can create one. Um, but this is just standard. This is exactly, there's no nothing special here on this side. It's exactly how you always would create your coupon codes. You'll notice I have a coupon code set up. It's called Spring Fever, 25% um, off the item. So once we've got our coupon code created over here, let's go assign it to an affiliate over in IDEV Affiliates. So let's go back over to our IDEV Affiliate Admin Center. We're going to go to Commission Settings, Coupon Code Commissioning. So in this case, the coupon code itself is the coupon name here, Spring Fever. I'm sorry, coupon code. In this case, it's the same. Uh, but Spring Fever is the coupon code. So you're going to pop that in here, Spring Fever. Here's where you assign it to an affiliate. So again, each time this coupon code is used at the time of checkout, whether or not this affiliate's links, this affiliate link has been clicked on or not doesn't matter. When the coupon code's used at checkout, whoever is assigned here is going to get a commission. So pick whoever you want to assign the coupon code to. Um, now, set your commission amount. Now, this is different. Over here, you've got your actual discount that's going to go to the customer, and that's their uh, total amount off of the purchase. So just don't get those two confused. I get confused myself sometimes. This over here is the actual commission amount. This is what we're giving the affiliate uh, each time the code is used. Now your discount to customer, this is just a quick, uh, this is basically just informational only. Your affiliate sees this when they've got, when they're logged into their affiliate account, they're gonna see a list of any and all coupon codes that have been assigned to them. And it's just, this is just a note from you to them, letting them know, hey, if this coupon code's used, this is what's gonna happen in terms of the discount. They need to be able to tell their affiliates, you know, this is a 10% code or this is a 12% code, et cetera. So I'm not gonna go through and actually add this. I've already added it over here in our Manage Coupons tab. You see it here, Spring Fever. I've assigned it to 235. It is for 25% off your order and we're gonna pay 10% on it, all right? So just like we already did a test order, we're gonna do another test order, only this time we're actually gonna use a coupon code and we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna actually buy the same product. I think this is the same product I bought last time. Add to cart. Proceed to checkout, and this time we're going to add our coupon code in here. We'll apply it. And now we're at $36.75 with our $12.25 off or our 25% off coupon. We'll go ahead and check out, and let's see what happens this time. All right, so this time we got uh, ID number 104. If I come over to IDEV Affiliate and take a look here, we do have a new commission. It's for uh, order number 104. And let's take a look at what happened this time. So first of all, right off the bat, we can see our order amount change, 36.75, because the coupon code was used. We can see our tracking method now says spring fever uh, from this coupon code. So not only are we telling you a coupon code was used, we're giving you the actual coupon, we're telling you which coupon code was used. Now, the one thing to take note of here is your commission definition, okay? Now, I wanna go back and look at that first commission real quickly for you first, so you can see this commission definition, payout level one, 10% of the sale amount. The payout level is the standard commissioning process. That's the payout level that's assigned to each affiliate, and this one happens to be set at 10%. So it's, we're telling you here that the payout level was used in order to calculate the commission amount. Over here on our new commission we just did, our, we've got a different commission definition, and this one says coupon code amount. Now, it happens to also be 10% coincidentally, but if it were a different amount, this would be a different, I mean, if we had assigned the coupon code a different amount, it would be a different amount. Uh, but it, again, in this case, it's 10%. Not really the point. The point is the commission definition. You can take a look at it, and you can see right here again. This is basically telling you how did we arrive at the commission amount, and this is where we're, we're getting that from. So that's coupon code commissioning, super simple. You can uh, assign unlimited coupons to all your affiliates. If you want, you can assign some, you know, only some of affiliates get uh, coupons. However you wanna do it is totally up to you, but the feature here is here available for you. And it's a really neat feature again for your offline marketing type stuff. All right, let's move on now to what we call per product commissioning. This is a really neat feature in that you can take 
all of your products in your store and you can assign a specific commission rate to each one of them. Great tool for uh, things like different margins on different products, stuff like that. So you can say this product I want to pay uh, 10%, this one I want to pay 15%, this one I want to pay $2.50 flat rate. You can do that if you want. So you can assign a, a specific commission rate to each product in your store and I'm going to show you how right now. So if we take a look at your products that you have in BigCommerce, again, this is just a stock installation of uh, BigCommerce here with the sample products. I've just taken this one here, uh, the dustpan and brush. The product SKU is listed as DPB, okay? So what we want to do is we want to come over to IDEV Affiliate and go to Commission Settings per Product Commissioning. Now, your product ID slash SKU in this case will be DPB, okay? Your product amount on this one is $34.95. So we'll pop that in there. Now, the commission amount, this is the whole idea behind the feature. This is where you define how much commission do I wanna pay on this particular SKU. So you can set it to whatever you want, obviously. This is gonna be an override to your payout level. So if you've got a default payout level for your affiliates, just say, let's say it's paying 10% across the board like it is here in this video, this is actually gonna override that. This is gonna wipe that 10% out completely and go immediately to this and say, okay, we've got a defined uh, commission rate for this product. Let's use that instead of the payout level. So again, it's an override. So anyways, I'm not gonna hit uh, add product. Again, I've already done it for us here, DPB. We've got $34.95, we're gonna pay 50%. So our total commission amount should be $17.48 because it's 50% of $34.95. So let's see it in action. Again, over here is our product. I've already got the page loaded up for us here with the product. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase this one, the dustpan and brush, DPB is the SKU. We're gonna check out just like normal this time. Continue and we'll place the order. All right, so the order's been placed. It's order number 105. If I come over here to our commissions, now we're at two because we've done our standard, we've done our coupon. Let's see what happens now. You'll see we've got three commissions now. Let's take a look at exactly what happened here. Now, very similar to when we did the coupon code commissioning feature, you'll see our commission definition has changed. It now says a third item, which is per product commissioning. Now, our order, um, our sale amount is $34.95. Again, we're coming from big, big Commerce. Now, the way we arrived at our commission amount here is through the per product commissioning, which is again, 1748 because we're paying 50% on this particular item because Big Commerce told us what per, what item was purchased. So we went into the per product uh, definition settings, found the commission rate it should be, calculated it, and you're all set. Okay, so that covers the big commerce integration. We've covered the standard integration. We've done your standard commission processing. We've done coupon code commissioning as well as the per product commissioning. Really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching.